Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Jeff Hammond, thank you so much, and welcome to the Belder Beebe Show. It's my pleasure to talk with you today. Thank you. Thank you for, for allowing us to speak out. Well, you've got a kind of a different topic. Tell me about, tell me about what you want to talk about. All right, well, you, we have had our last baby out in the wild. He was our ninth child, and so we braved the elements and um, traveled quite a bit away from our home to, to bring our baby into the world the way that we we saw best for him and for us. Okay, why did you choose out in the wild? Uh, you know, it's it's beautiful out there. It's it's calm. It's peaceful. It's stress free, and that's what we wanted for our birth. Um, having the last the seven children before him at our home, they've gone incredible. Uh, largely because I'm I'm not stressed out. It's relaxing. We have incredible midwives that know their stuff up and down. Um, we feel completely confident with them. So they were, uh, they were able to come up there with us to um, catch the baby. So we were, it, it was a perfect birth. Jeff, as the father who's only a, a, a voyeur of the experience, how did you feel? Um, I, I was real confident and uh, definitely knew it would be a great bonding experience for both of us, um, just being out, well, wait, like Amy said, away from all the noise and just being out in nature and knowing that her body, seeing her respond by having births at home, taking it to the next level, I knew that she'd be even more, uh, be able to focus more. So um, it was definitely a great experience. <laughs> <laughs> I want to let my listening audience know here and abroad that I'm speaking with Jeff and Amy Hammond. They are part of Born in the Wild, which will appear on Lifetime Television, if I'm correct. Yes, yeah. at 10 p.m. on Tuesdays. Okay, okay, so this is a docu-series. Yes. Okay, why is this such a big deal? And let me tell you, let me preface that with people in uh, non, um, I don't want to say that, well, people outside of the United States and other, con on on other continents have done this for centuries. Why do we find it so fascinating? You know, it's not the norm. There was a cultural shift where um, hospitals became the norm gradually over time, uh, became the norm where a woman would go to give birth and have her child. Uh, you know, so absolutely, it's, it is, um, you know, on the fringes. It's, it's a little bit misunderstood, I think. And what's important to remember is that it's a beautiful thing that a woman has this choice and this option available to her, um, that a delivery, labor, typically is quite uneventful. Um, there are risks associated with a hospital that people need to be aware of, uh, just as there are risks associated with a home birth and risks associated with an outdoor birth. Um, people need to be aware of those risks, you know, wherever you choose to have your baby. Um, and know that the women that have, that have chosen to do this have put, you know, hours of research, um, lots of time, lots of preparation. This was not taken lightly by anybody. You know, we certainly love our children and want what's best for them. And this absolutely was only, we only did this because we felt this was what was best for, for their entrance into the world. Okay. I want to ask Jeff. Jeff, you guys have multiple children. So was this number nine that you guys had born in a while? And did you have others in the wild? Yes. This, uh, Levi was number nine. And the, we had previous in the home seven, seven home births. So 
he was the first guy. Yeah, okay, so there's the a difference. Okay. Uh, okay, Amy, so there's a difference in home birth. I was born at home, so I found this fascinating. <laughs> okay, but see, I was born at home because African-American people did not have hospitals closed. That's probably why I was born at home, I'm sure, pretty much. And this was also considered probably barbaric when I was born at home. You know, you didn't go to a hospital. But as you say, the culture has shifted. So you had seven at home, and then you had two in the wild. Is there a difference of having them born at home and born in the wild? Oh, the amount of preparation, for sure. I, I think that, you know, for us, because we chose to take the entire family, and um, there's an amount of preparation just getting 10 people out on a camping trip. There is a huge amount of preparation for getting ready for a birth. So combining the two, it's I, it's a circus. It was a circus, getting them, everybody out the door and, and ready. Yeah. When you do the docuseries, will it be other people or will it just follow you two? No, there are actually five other families. There are six families total that have chosen to do this. And each situation is so unique, um, really beautiful in its own way and has its own set of, of hurdles and obstacles that have to be overcome. Um, it's, each of them is just very interesting to watch their story and watch how they overcome some of those things that they're, that they're up against. If we had time, we would talk about the at-home versus hospital effect, uh, uh, drugs versus non-drugs, vaccination versus non-vaccination, because it brings up a whole litany of questions. I'm sure that the docu-series hopefully will delve into that at some point. You know, I think that's very important. You're absolutely right. It does open up a completely new dialogue, and that's important. Um, you, you know, birth happens constantly, and so... It needs to have some tension given to it. Um, women need to know that there are options out there. And, you know, uh, gosh, there are, there are quite a few things that I think are considered to be on the fringes that deserve to be discussed more. Um, and not that we're necessarily out there to change minds, but let's put that discussion on the table and, and um, you know, find out a little bit more about it. Let me ask you also, too, you guys have nine children. Do you have children because you don't use a birth control method or you just decided you wanted a big family or you have some kind of religious preference? I'm sure my audience would be interested in that. Uh, you know, we consider each child a gift. Um, we're given a gift, a precious gift that not everybody, that not everybody is, is given. Uh, we have incredible pregnancies, great deliveries. Um, there was a point in time where we decided that we did not, we weren't willing to say no. Um, we had lost a little girl when she was six weeks old to SIDS, and she was our second daughter. Um, after going through that, you just I think it just changed our perspective, and I love it. Um, this is what I was made to do. I, I work sun up and sun down. Uh, I go to the store, and I always take a child with me. Uh, I think that it's so important. You know, people look at this, and it's like, how do you possibly have enough time? When you love something, you put the time into it and put the effort into it, and that's what we do. Well, you guys are the... Mm, new face of family. I like that. I really like that. The show is called Born in the Wall. And when do we want you want us to watch it again, Amy? Tuesdays at 10 p.m. And do turn it, tune in. I know that there's a lot of people that are pretty upset. Watch to the end because the reward is so worth it. Well, as an at-home baby, I will be watching with great enthusiasm. I want to thank you for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. This has been fascinating, and I'm sure the docuseries will be. Thank you Thank so you. much, Valder. We've really enjoyed this. Thank you, Jeff, too. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <laughs>